Okay, so we have nine w squared plus three w plus four minus three w squared plus two w. But before we do this problem, we're gonna do the easiest problem in the world. Three plus two. What's three plus two? Five. Five. Okay. What about three hearts plus two hearts? Five hearts. Five hearts. What about three apples plus two bananas? Three apples and two bananas. Three apples and two bananas. You cannot connect those. Okay. So when you think of like a W and X, apples and bananas. So like three W plus two X is just three W plus two X. Okay. But when you think of two, two, when you think of 3w plus 2w, it's like the hearts. It's like three shoes or plus two yeah, shoes. 5w. 5w. Okay. So now if you have yeah, 4x squared plus 3w, no, sorry, 3x. This, because it has a square on it, it is an apple or a pear. And this, because it has a, excuse, since it has an x square on it, it's like a pear, apple thing. And then this right here is a banana. They can't talk to each other. Hmm. Okay, but, and this is where the whole fruit thing just doesn't work anymore, is if you're multiplying, they can all talk. So if you have 3x squared plus 4x, I really don't want to do that. You want to have, if you have 4x squared times 3x, well, the 4 can talk to the 3, so what do you got? 4 negative. 4 times 3? Oh, uh, 12. 12. Thanks. Which raises a new question. Three my mind. That's the next one I'm gonna ask. Uh, six times six. Yes. Thirty-six. Okay. Seven um, times nine. Maybe. <laughs> Sixty. All right. All right. So here we got. What do we have here? Uh, twelve x. Okay. Squared. No. Square. No. Just well, we'll just start with the twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think. Okay. So when you multiply it, just kind of think of it like this. Buddies. Okay. My kind. Of, yeah. Buddies times. Kind of buddies, I guess. Like these are like X people. And those are not X people. So they can multiply twelve. Okay. Now exponents. There's, there's actually an exponent rule. I'm trying to put that right. So. Oh so if you have, if you have m to the power of two times m to the power of three, you actually add the powers. It's kind of weird because naturally people want to say m to the six, but it's actually mm -hmm. m to the fifth. Okay, so right here, there is an invisible one right here. So that'll be x to the power of? Three. Three. All right, so if you have four x plus two x squared, what is that? Um, six, wait, yes, yeah, six x squared. Oh, it's plus. I'm just drawing a bunch of arrows. So, what do you think? Um, They're apples and oranges. They can't talk to each other because this is not exactly the same as that. It has a power there. Okay. So, we can't do anything with that. So, it's just 4x plus. Uh huh. 2x squared. But if you go 4x times 2x squared, then they can talk. What do you get? Mm, 8 x squared. Invisible one. You add. Uh, you with me? Yes. Okay, so what about um, 
six x plus two x. Uh, eight x. Eight x. What about three x plus four x? Two x. What about three x squared plus two x squared? Um, six. I look at change this number. I hate two twos. And I put it back there again. And I would like to change. Oh no, we're good with that. No, because you're adding. You are adding. Five. Nope. Six. Oh, uh, three x squared plus two x. Why? Because Cute, huh? they have different um, exponents. Yeah, and one way to think about it is if I had, if I had like three, oh, this is actually a really good way to think about it. If I have three x squared plus two x squared, I can say let w equal x squared. Okay, so then I can go three w plus what? Two w. Then what do I get? Five w. Five w. But if I go 3x squared plus 2x to the fifth, and I say let w equal x squared, then I go 3w plus 2. No. No, wait, no. Can't do it. Why can't you do it? Why can't you do it? Why can't I put a w there? Because uh, uh, x to the fifth is not x squared. Yeah. You see, so yeah. that tells me right there. I can't. I can't add these. It's not like three apples plus two apples. It's three something times. It's three something plus two something else. But you can multiply them. Okay, so you can't do that. But yes, you can multiply them. Three x squared plus two x gives you what? Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Six x plus three. Yes. Why isn't it two? Is it two times one, two? No, it's too bad. Yeah. Okay, so. So for this lesson here, even though I rewrote it, I'm gonna rewrite it. Nine W squared plus three W plus four. I'm writing it differently a little bit. Three W squared plus two W. Okay, so I'm making it a little easier first. So I'm going to go like that, I'm going like that, I'm going like that, I'm going like that. Okay, so this right here, this right here is called a monomial. So is that. So is that. They're all called monomials. Or things that could be pieces of fruit. Or a fruit, I suppose. This whole thing is an apple, and that's a banana, that's a whatever, orange. So those are just like different different units of things separated by pluses or minuses. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you have two of them together, what do you think they're called? If this is called a monomial, and you put two of them together, what are you gonna have? Uh, binomial. You're gonna have a binomial. So what's an example of a binomial? Yeah. Well, it'd be m squared plus 2x cubed. What's that called? A binomial. Give me another example of a binomial. Um, m squared plus 3x to the fourth power. Yep, that's a binomial. I can make this a z if I want. That's a binomial. What would a trinomial be? Something with. Three or something. Mm -hmm. like, um, M2. M squared. M squared mm -hmm. plus uh, 2x to the third mm -hmm. plus 4x to the fifth. Good. That's called a, what is it called? Trinomial. Mm -hmm. Trinomial. Okay. Anything beyond tri is just called a polynomial. And I believe that technically is a polynomial because it's more than one. So monomial, polynomial, 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 but that could also be called a what?
Binomial. And that can be a what? Binomial. Or, and that's a what? Trinomial. Right. So here you're adding a trinomial with a... Um, a binomial. A binomial. Now remember this. If, you, if there's just a plus between all of them, the parentheses can just magically disappear. Okay, so it's the same exact problem you have there, mm -hmm. but I don't have a minus sign in there. So what do I write if the parentheses just magically disappear? Uh, 9w squared mm -hmm. plus 3w mm -hmm. plus 4 plus 3w squared plus 2w. Perfect. Okay, so I see some buddies. Buddy. Buddy. Oh, I remember this. Like my teacher would underline them. Like, Underline's not as cool as hearts and triangles. <laughs> Is it triangles? <laughs> yes. I don't know, like mountains or something. <laughs> No. I don't know what kind of mountains you've seen because these are clearly triangles. Um, what kind of triangles you're seeing? <laughs> okay, so what's this right here? What's what? Oh, uh, that's uh, like the answer? Hmm? Um, uh, 12 W squared. Good. What about the hearts? R 5W. Plus 5w. Plus 5w plus 4. Plus 4. Good. All right. And then what you have over there is trickier because there is a subtraction sign between the two. But wait, I don't want to do that just yet. I want to talk about the distributive property. I want to talk about the distributive property. Easy first. 5w plus 7. No, nah. well, what do I do? Oh, I distribute. 12, power, 12 times. You don't see it like a sharing? No. Okay, um, there. That's just me. That was twelve and five. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I know it. Twelve times. Okay, I know that if you're five feet tall, you're sixty inches, and there's twelve inches in a foot. So twelve times five is sixty. I don't want to do these numbers. They're stupid numbers. Hold on. It's done. Hold on. I want to do two and because. What do we have? Um, 15. Wait, wait. Well, well, tell me what's going on in your head. What are you trying to do? Um, put the 15 into the 2W. Good. And what kind of operation are you doing? Subtraction, division, division, multiplication? Multiplication. All right. So we're trying to figure out 15 times 2. Yes. Who's calculator? Okay. You can always use your I was looking at the, the um, non calculator portion. You really. Are not going to be doing stuff like this. Right. Thirty. Okay, so thirty W. Wait, wait. Thirty W. Yes. All right. Plus. Uh, ninety. Uh, ninety. Plus ninety. Well, what if I did fifteen? No. Negative three plus seven X minus two. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, six. No. You know why? Because that negative sign, that minus, is also negative and it belongs to the two. And that's a negative three. Plus so you're really six. doing negative three times negative two. It's a plus six. It is. So what are we multiplying together? Negative three and negative two. Yes. But also though your calculator. Right down here somewhere. I don't know, right around there. There's the, the negative button. Yes. Don't confuse that with the, the minus because the calculator is actually very picky about that. Mm -hmm. Even though in real world, it is, they're the same thing. So here you have, what again? Uh, negative 21x. Mm -hmm. And now what would we we'll be multiplying together here? Times. Times seven. Wait, where? Oh, we tried times negative two. Good. And is the answer going to be positive or negative? Positive. So then you write positive six. Mm -hmm. Right. So now if I did that, if I want to do 
4 minus 3 times 7x minus 2. What's the side on the 3? 1. Like positive or negative on the 3 right there? Uh, negative. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go here. What are you going to get? Oh, I know why you said 1. Yeah. I know why you said 1. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, that's wrong. Okay. Why is it? You know why it's wrong? Because uh, you do the parentheses first. PEMDAS, right? So let's think about that for a second. Do you ever learn PEMDAS? Do you know PEMDAS? Uh, yeah. All Sounds right. familiar. So, I don't, wait, I never learned PEMDAS. But man, I know what it stands for. So let's think about this for one second. What is 4 minus 3m? Uh, 4 minus 3m. Okay. Um, and what if I said m equals 5 plus 2? Then what would that be? I want to say equals 5 plus 5, actually. I said, what would that be? So m equals 10 and 3. So m equals 10 and 10 times 3 is 3. 30 times 4. Well, there's no times here. Oh. Wait, no, no, no. I meant um, 30 minus 4. No, because this is 30 minus 4, but that's a positive 3. And that's, a ne that's a negative 3 and a positive 4, but that's a negative 4. Mm -hmm. So it would actually be 4 minus 30. 30. You with me? I'm tired. Oh. I'm tired too. Um, what about 4 minus 3 hard? 4 minus 3 hard. 4 minus 3 hard. So here, this whole thing is a hard. The 4 can't talk to the 3 because the 3 is stuck to that heart. That heart just happens to be 7x minus 2. So you gotta, you have to kind of open this up first in order to connect things. And the way you open it up is by distributing and distributing. And then once you do that, the, the um, parentheses go away. Okay, so write this part down. So four, then what? Four minus three. Mm -hmm. But I know why you're saying that also. But once you multiply these together, that three goes away. Four minus three. Two. Oh no, there's an arrow going to say two. That's the second one. Oh. Do the first arrow. Do this arrow. Okay, so you're in it. You already did it. You did it here. And you did it here. So what do you do? Negative three. Times. Times seven. Positive seven or negative seven? Positive. So it's negative three times positive seven. Yes. What would that be? Negative. Okay, and is there an x there? Yes, can, negative 21 x. Yeah, so look, this is the weird part. It's negative 21 x. That negative is also minus. Yes. Okay, what's the sign of that three? Negative. What's the sign of that two? Negative. You multiply them together, what do you get? Positive six. Positive six. Do we have any buddies? Yes, the four in this case. Yes, so put them together. Is that a positive four or negative four? Positive. So a positive six or negative six? Positive. So put them together when you get? Ten. Ten, go ahead. Minus twenty one x. Can they talk together? No. Talk to each other? No, can we multiply them to each other? Mm -hmm. yeah. We can actually. Mm -hmm. What'd that be? Mm Negative 2, 10, x. Good. Okay. Problem? Um. Okay. So is your dream school, Texas? That your dream is that the school? Is that the one for you? What is, what is it? This is the school your sister's going to? No. 
where do you want to go? Like, where's your, like, if school's free, you could just go anywhere. Colorado. 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 Boulder? Yeah, or hmm. anywhere in Colorado. You like Colorado? Yeah. That's cool. Okay. I have a student who just went there to and look just, at the school. Just somewhere where it snows. Ah. And I, mountains. I like mountains. Huh. You like camping? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I don't go very often because these people don't like camping, but... <laughs> Indoor folk, really? <laughs> <laughs> don't want to go on vacation to be homeless? I get that. Okay. So... All right, so all you do is you copy, copy, copy. There is an invisible negative one right here. So I'm gonna put it there. And then, in fact, you should put it there too. Every time. And then you loop, but that's the first one. The second one is the one that's further out. Loop, and then if there's a third one, you do it again. Loop. Feel free to say loop while taking your test. Okay. okay. So what do we have? Um, you have three. Oh wait, nine w uh, squared two plus three uh, w plus four minus. Um, <laughs> plus three. Think of the happy couples. Negative plus positive plus negative. So negative 3w squared plus Good. 2w. Think of the sign on that one. Think of the sign on that two. Oh, negative 2w. Good. All right. Any buddies? Mm, the w's, the double w squared mm -hmm. and the w's good so let's do boring teacher way what do we have hey. Hello. six w squared good and plus three Three minus two is one, so W plus W. Oh, by the way, you, you, I, you should, once you handle them, go like that. I haven't been doing that, but you should do that. You do that, then we can see what's left over. Plus four. Plus four. That's it. So what makes this problem tricky? The negative. Yeah, minus. negative means you have an invisible negative one right there. Then you distribute, then parentheses go away. If there's a positive, parentheses just go away. Right. So okay. you don't need like, the invisible one if it's positive? Correct. Because yep. what you're doing is you're distributing a positive one, but mm -hmm. that doesn't do anything. All right. Yeah, but if there was a two there, then you would distribute first. Plus four. Stopping. <laughs>